Hey y'all, it's your girl Tiasha and I'm here for Vlogmas Day 8 again. Okay, I just got through watching another part of Janae. Let me focus this. I just got through watching another video that Janae just posted. So guess what time it is? It's time for me to give y'all the rundown of what she was talking about. So on this episode of the Janae experience, Nick and King exposing Janae, the fraud manager. Now nah, I'm just playing, but um, so on this episode, she just, well, or whatever you want to call it, video, she's uh, just talking about, well, it's more so of a continuation of yesterday, showing more receipts of supposedly Nick and King lying. So, when Nick and King made their video, they stated that they had asked for the contract on November 5th, and they kept asking for it. She didn't respond back as far as the contract for 10 days until November 15th. Well, somebody, you know, um, maybe they just got their days wrong because when you look at Nick and King's video, their text messages does say November 15th. So, Janae showed their text message, asked them for the contract on November 15th. She also showed her contract at, I mean, not, not contract. She also showed her text messages of them asking for the contract for November 15th. So, they didn't ask for the contract on November 5th. They actually asked for the contract on November 15th. And that's something that both of, them, both of their text messages show. That they asked for the contract on November 15th. But in Nick and King's video, they say November 5th. So, they have not been wait. At this point, they had not been waiting for the contract for 10 days. So November 15th, they asked for the contract. She says that her garage is a mess, you know, because she had just got through moving. And, um, you know, she once she get everything organized, she'll send it to them. They said, okay, no problem. She sent them a picture of what her garage looks like, which she showed it in her video. So she said then later on in the day, which she showed proof of also, that they that's when Neek sent her a text message asking for her password she didn't have it she claims and then that's when Neek tried to change it and it said the recovery was going to Janae's email but she said no she didn't get anything so she said at that point later on that's when she tried to FaceTime Nick and King and they also said in their video so this is you know something that they both agree on that she did try and FaceTime them and they didn't answer when she claims that it this month it was a lot of money th that they were expected to get on their check so she was like she don't know why if they really thought that she was doing something shady. Why didn't they answer the phone? She was like, if if I was playing with a lot of money like that, she wouldn't give the specifics of how much they was going to get. But she was like, I would have answered the phone. So they didn't answer, which they said, and she said they didn't answer. So that's when she sent the text message saying, you know, um, you look it looks like you guys are moving funny and all this kind of stuff and um sent the winky face which they said you know also so mind you all this is happening on the 15th you know nick and king did get that situation wrong they hadn't been waiting for the contract for 10 days it was actually the same day that they asked for it november 15th so nick finally gets into the account Janae's in the account. They're both battling for the account. I mean, to change the account information. Nick's video said, you know, in Nick's video, she said she didn't know that they had, I mean, that she had that much access to the account. 
Well, she said, even when she sat down with the moms and everything in the contract, it says that there's a two step verification. She, she didn't have, what boy? She didn't have, um, her information on the account until she said, People started acting funny, not wanting to pay, and all that kind of stuff. She decided to add herself onto the account that same day, November 15th, which she shows proof because of the situation that was going on with her and Nick and King. They didn't want to answer her FaceTime to find out what was going on and all that kind of stuff. She said, so basically, she says what kind of caused her to think that they was moving shady because of course this check was going to be huge she didn't give them out but this check was going to be huge and that it was five days before payday so it, all this stuff was happening on November 15th they supposed to get paid on November 20th so, you know, if they get a big check, what's up? If they get a big check, you know, she's supposed to get 20% of that. So, she's going to get a pretty decent amount, too. So, she's like, okay, they they playing with my money. Now, they in the account changing passwords, trying to kick me off, everything. She said, so, she hurried up and uh, downloaded the Google Authenticator, which Nikim did say. She said, and she added herself to the account. She said, if she had access and she wanted to take money, she could have did that a long time ago. She could have. Why did she decide to supposedly just take over the account in the ninth month? So, she shows proof of everything that's going on with, and a lot of stuff they agreed upon um, based off of Nick and King's text messages. And Janae's text messages, you know, yeah. boy, hush. But they did not ask for the contract 10 days ahead of time. It was very the same day. All this stuff is going on the same day. So I don't know if they meant to make it look like she just wasn't responding to them. Which in this case, that's not the case because all this stuff happened November 15th. So all this stuff happened that same day and they're battling for the account and everything. You know, eventually she says that she downloads the Google Authenticator and she tells them she's going to give them 24 hours to get in contact with her. Or she's going to override their pa password and basically kick them out the account. And she left it right there and said that part, another part will be coming. One thing I can say about Janae, she know how to keep us um, hooked. She know how to cut it off right when she needs to cut it off so that we could tune in for the next video. If anything, I can say, I see, I can see, you know, why, let me say, because I, I probably wouldn't work with her knowing all these scam allegations and stuff going on, but she definitely knows how to keep people watching and get views on YouTube. Let's just say that, like that. She knew right where to cut it off, so we got to tune in for the next episode. Part two of exposing Nick and King. So I'ma just I just gave y'all a little rundown. I just gave y'all a little rundown. Make sure y'all like, subscribe. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, share, turn on your post notifications. Cause as she posts, I'm gonna post. And I will see y'all probably tomorrow when she drop another video. Bye y'all.